Hey YouTube, Kenny Tony coming at you today with this video. So what we're going to be working on today is getting the Raptor 250 head for the great one close up. We haven't taken apart any of the twin setup or anything. We're not going to worry about any of that. But we're just going to work on this getting it closed up. I have too many machines sitting around that are kind of apart. So we're going to get one done at a time or start getting them closer to being individualized. So check out this video if you'd like and let's get it rolling. So we're going to go ahead and get this flipped over. We got all these different parts on it. So we have the head, we got our new valves here, seals, grinding compound tool. We got our springs and different little uh, miscellaneous nuts and bolts that we took off. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this, um, we're gonna do the exhaust sides and just get the exhaust valve lapped in. Grinding compound on there. That didn't work. So make sure you just get all the excess out. Spot there left in. Get all that cleaned out there. And we'll get the intake side left in as well. Do the same thing, look for us a nice, nice little shiny spot. there which is where it's going to sit all right so just going to go ahead and take both of the valves back out because we're going to put new seals in seal number one's out Said I put these on my sons before, so this would definitely be a good preventative action. All right, one on, new seal there. New seal there. Last little push, make sure everything's on good, all right. Flip it back over. Valve number one in there. Valve number two in there. Now we're ready to go springs up. Now 
wish me luck with this part. All right, I haven't gotten around to cutting my new tool, but I'm gonna see what I can get done with my old method with the cutout washer. Gonna put a little piece of plastic there because it'll give a little bit of flex and kind of hold these where they belong. And we're gonna see what it'll get done for us. Let's just take that off because I can't see anything with it. I'm gonna put them back in there, one moved. And like I said, don't, don't hate me. All right, first clip is in. We're gonna see if we can get the second one in somehow. First one in, time to do number two. I mean, it's not a horrible process. It's just a little time consuming and tedious. You just gotta make sure you take your time. dropped it down in there sometimes just this method makes it a little bit challenging I wonder if me cutting the other socket like I stated I was going to would make it a little easier but sometimes this is a little pain So we got both valves down in there looking good, both of them seated properly, and as you see, now we just gotta get those lifters and those rocker arms back in. So both of these lubed up well. One of them, as you see, has this little notch in it, which goes into one of your channels down here that one of your bolts goes through. So it's easiest if you put a bolt down in there first, because if you put it in there wrong, you're gonna have issues later. I mean, you can spin it, but it's just not as easy as you think. I'm gonna put a little bit of assembly grease on there, help it slide a little bit easier. We're gonna start the first one through. All right, so as you see, there's a few more tools out. The one with the dashes actually goes on this side. So I put it in the wrong side and had to back it out. So basically i use this and then essentially put my wrenches and things on there and use it as a reverse slide hammer but we have those installed now it's just time to get the cam back in and we're gonna spray it off as well so i'm gonna 
this in there. I think we're all in there. All right, so we officially have this head work that we're going to be doing, just changing those valves done. So we put the gear back on and then measured the cam right up and down with this point at being equal to where it would be with top deck center. We took a 10 millimeter, loosened these nuts up, and used some grips, needle nose, to hold on to these, as you see. A little bit of wiggle there. But a little bit of wiggle does not mean that they're in spec. So, the both valves, exhaust and intake, same number is 0.1 mm. The exhaust can be up to 0.15, but we're just going to use 0.1. And that is what we have right here. 0.1. And they should just basically barely go in there and just drag with some resistance, and they do have that. So they don't go through easy at all. The same thing on the exhaust. A little resistance. So we're good there. We're going to go ahead and put the caps back on, and this head is complete. All right, everyone. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so we have the head completely closed up. Basically, what we're going to be waiting on is the cylinder, piston, and rings, and we should be able to get that Raptor 250 closed up shortly after we get that. Maybe the day, maybe that day or the day after. So this head has new valves. It has the cam put back in, rockers put back in, and it also has new valve seals. So we shouldn't have to worry about any linking on that end, and we're good. All right, everyone.